exercise has been an ongoing thing ever since we assumed the municipality here. You see, the, we, uh, the report that we had about the security situations, this is one of the uh, most dangerous flashpoints in the municipality. And we realized that allowing them to squatter or to encroach upon the uh, railway uh, enclave is what is giving them the base for them to perpetrate those kind of evil trade. So it is important that if we er eradicate that uh, opportunity or the base, it will minimize the incident of the drug peddling in this area. So we took the first incidents about three months ago and then the, we removed those areas. Then they moved to the second police. Uh, recently there was this fire outbreak here when they were fighting among themselves over some of these their drug issues and it led to even one person losing their life. And thereafter, if you see our electric poles, most of them have been bent and if God has not intervened, there will have been a major uh, disaster here because this is a high tension line. So when you bend this one and the cables touch other things, the uh, other uh, residents in their houses, let's imagine what may happen to them. So we have to take the proactive actions so that we can uh, really bring this thing to an end. Uh, somebody will ask, is this the only place? What about the other the right side? And yes, the right side to the uh, drug dealers there. They move from here to that side. So you finish this one, you go that one to clear them. There are some permanent structures that we need to deal with. So we invite them, let them bring their documents, let us see them, then we deal with them. Who gave you that permit to come to this area? Then we will deal with them as it's supposed to be. You know. So these are some of the issues, that is why we are yet to go to that side. We are moving there. Uh, this place has been a den of uh, uh, really uh, drug dealers and peddlers and also some of the um, Yes, uh, drug users has been main thing. You can see as well yourself when you go, the uh, structures we are seeing, these are not fixed structures for normal people to live in. We are all, you know, sometimes we have to face the reality that this is not safe. This is not even healthy for human beings to have it. So why do we allow such environmental hazards to continue? You see, what we don't know is that when people live in those uh, environments and they contrast something, they join us in the trotro and pass it on to us. So though you are living in a clean environment, these ones will uh, germinate or uh, develop the uh, uh, diseases and then pass it on to you. So until we are able to leave this in the bad, look at the refuse status here. The sanitation, uh, sanitary condition here, is that a place that life should uh, be uh, allowed here? No. So this is where we need to take the action. The assembly has resolved that we will clear them.